Um, thank you very much for conferring on me this incredible honor to be able to practice as a Ghanaian architect. It's as a, an honor I don't take lightly. Um, it is a dream of mine. Um, I've been practicing for over 30 years now, establishing first my offices in the UK and then the US, but it's my greatest honor to be able to practice in Ghana, my homeland, the land of my family and my ancestors, and to be now living in Ghana. Um, for me, I was always wanting to practice architecture for the betterment of humanity and also mostly for the improvement of our built environment for all our citizens. Um, it became very clear to me that even though I was practicing in Europe and in the US, to practice in Ghana and also in the continent was something that was a dream that I felt I could not um, sit on any laurels until I had started working on the continent and contributing. In the four years that I've been here, um, we've established IJ Associates. And IJ Associates is here on the continent, not just to work in Ghana, but on the continent. We're working in 15 countries now, all over the continent, contributing. We have uh, in excess of 100 people in Ghana now. We've established a very major presence. <laughs> These architects are Ghanaians, um, mostly. Um, then we have continental Africans um, and a few diaspora uh, uh, people from, from outside uh, the continent. But it's, it's, it is every day with great sort of pleasure for me to be able to see a new generation of architects getting extraordinary experience um, of, of the works that we are doing all over the continent. And so it's really with that in mind that I'm very grateful to be conferred with this honor, to be able to continue helping new generation and to be practicing and supporting the built environment agenda that has been so eloquently outlined by the chairman and all the board. Mm -hmm.